you know, any kind of play strategy or style in any game in order for you to be personally connected, like, oh, I, you know, I did something and it mattered. It also has to happen that you can uniquely fail. Hey, I'm Demon Dev. And most recently, I've been reorganizing my conversations. You can see at some points I was doing some numbering systems, but overall, I got kind of sloppy with it. So anyways, I've re-exported everything with numbers in front so it'll stay organized uh, in order of like playthrough chains. Uh, anyways, doing all this has made me kind of think about the bigger picture of, you know, like, like what's it all about? What is Double Demons? And I think I finally found a simpler way to explain it. Double Demons, uh, my VR dating sim magic combat game, is about that feeling you get when you play a game and you have like a victory on some sort of a battle or, you know, you're, you're doing the game mechanics and you feel like you really earned it. Like, you know, you executed the moves in the right way that... You know, dealt more damage while taking less damage or whatever. You dodged at the right time. You you made it past that feeling of like really earning a victory. But trying to take that that intense experience and bring it into the landscape of like dating strategy or culture. Like, you know, like I said all these things and uh, and I really earned it. Like this character now likes me for not just me, you know, spending time with them, but me specifically choosing to say things in a way that represents who I am. Like, you know, like I earned this, this love arc or whatever, um, you know, and, uh, and the flip side too, uh, because the game, you know, will allow characters and the player to accept or reject um, friendship and um, romance from any character to any character. So you will also experience being uniquely yourself and the character not being in, into it. And in a sense, okay, that's terrible, right? Because you didn't earn it. Then it feels like, oh, the, they have really rejected who I am. But you also have you know, planted a flag, like you were different and there will be other characters in the game that appreciate that unless you maniacally change your personality to suit every character in exactly the wrong way. If you're consistently choosing options that appeal to you, then um, some characters are going to be into that and maybe you won't be into them. Maybe they can appreciate you, but you can't appreciate them and, and vice versa. Certainly that happens in real life, but in order to connect deeply, you know, just like with, you know, choosing a specific build in League of Legends or, you know, any kind of play strategy or style in any game, in order for you to be personally connected, like, oh, I, you know, I did something and it mattered, it also has to happen that you can uniquely fail. Uh, so this game has has both of its sides in the relationship building aspect and that's what really excites me about double demons and i think other people should be excited about too with this project is this game really is asking now sure there's crazy stuff going on in the background you know you've got a spirit world you've got uh high school being taken over by corporations and setting strange policies and uh extracting the souls out of students. Um, what was that? Uh, you've got crazy stuff going on, but ultimately the game is presenting you lots of interesting scenarios, whether you're going to school with these people, riding on the subway, fighting monsters, deciding who you should team up with, infiltrating secret bases, studying magic spells in the occult club, all this stuff going on. Ultimately, the game is asking you to figure out how you want to communicate with other characters and all the characters react to that um, in tiny increments, but it builds up to accumulate to an entire relationship. Cause that's what I believe relationships are. I used to think that relationships were based more on philosophical 
um, I don't know, harmony or agreement. But over time, I think what I believe is that the way you communicate ideas, the way you express yourself, both in conflict and in good times, is much more representative of your personality, who you are as a person, is how you say things, uh, not what you're saying, which um, is something that this project has helped me discover as well as a lot of other things. Um, I kept wanting to, the way the dialogue system works, I kept wanting to make it so that branching at a macro level, so like you choose option A or B, and then the um, AI reacts to, you know, reaction A or reaction B. Um, and that's what draws a lot of people because how is it meaningful if it isn't branching in that way? But actually having sub options, the nuanced expression level, I think is actually more representative of the highest level. So if you think of your your personality, your mindset, what priorities or feelings you're listening to or not listening to when you talk to people in real life, that all is, I think, best represented in the dialogue damage type, so the micro expressions. So whether you're going to be mean or friendly or funny or serious, you know, clean or crude, confident or timid, in small doses spread across many dialogue exchanges, um, that is representative of who you are, uh, what you believe on a fundamental level uh, about people or the world. Um, it still matters because it provides a context in which you form relationships. You know, you can't just look at people and think. Or, or look at people and, you know, and say the word confident and them get that about you. The confidence has to be injected into something specific that you're confident about or showing confidence in. So what I realized about branching, and I think this is what Double Demons is all about uh, from a story and game mechanic dialogue choice level is that, you know, when you disagree, that's a macro choice, you know, if they've done something that you don't like, and you're going to either call them out or forgive them. That choice is a macro choice, but where the relationship develops or corrodes from is the way you express yourself through every single aspect of that. So you've got cliches like opposite attracts. I think that that idea is orbiting something that is true. I don't know if opposites attract is a universal whatsoever, but I do think that opposites attract is shorthand for you learn things about what the relationship between you and another person can be when there's conflict. So when you argue with somebody about something, maybe they like uh, an anime that you don't like, uh, vehemently and um, you get into an argument and I think a lot of people have experienced this in relationships it matters less what is the objective truth of liking or disliking the anime for objective reasons but the way that you express each your feelings about the anime and uh, the words you choose and the amount of you know joking around or teasing other person for their opinions and all of that is what the relationship is. Um, so it's like, you know, kind of a big circle, you know, you think of personality at the highest level, uh, your personality informs how you take in experiences, you know, what matters to you, what feelings you, you have when you're reacting to what people are saying. And then what you say, hopefully from a set of options that you're considering, um, which is what I'm seeking to emulate. Now you could think of the series of options. Every person is going to say one thing, but I'm trying to make a game that will allow everyone to think and say the things that they're saying. So they will also be exposed to other ideas of things to say that they maybe wouldn't normally think of. But regardless, 
going down the tier, you think of all the different things you're going to say. Those are your macro choices. But then once you have an idea, you know, you want to disagree with someone, you want to tell them that, um, that some movie or anime is bad, then you have to decide how you're going to phrase it. Are you going to do it in a, a teasing, mocking way? Are you going to do it in a nice way? Like, oh, you know, we just have different opinions. Um, are you going to do it in a timid way? I'm like, oh, you know, I don't really know what I'm talking about, you know, to diminish your own. All of that is who you are, I think. Um, and I think that's something that uh, will surprise people about Double Demons when you're selecting dialogue options is that even though the micro choice feels like it's at the bottom level, like the the smallest detail, you're making thousands of these choices across the game. It actually maybe means the most about what other characters think about you. And I think that's relevant to real life also. And, uh, and I think that comes back to the accumulation of like a thousand decisions on how to word what you say uh, is maybe about as a good a representation of your personality in terms of how someone feels about you uh, that, that I'm doing in this game. So I'm excited to see how that feels for people. Um, the math going on behind the scenes is relatively straightforward, but um the accumulation, I think, is what will cause the feelings that resonate when you ultimately get to a place in a relationship that you like or don't like. Um, that will be very representative of you uniquely as a person. When you nest choices like this, so a macro choice is very difficult to upkeep, which means that most games that do macro choices, which just means automatic exponential branching, uh, if it's not an illusion-based choice, uh, most games that do that are so limited by what content they can support that you just can't support that many choices in a given uh, character interaction or relationship. It's just tough to go into the dozens or hundreds, you know, the exponential content requires of that, content requirements of that to make a long form game or story are insane. Uh, but when you get to an expression level, and then you can compress the sum of a thousand micro choices of expression. That is sustainable because you're saying similar things. They're reacting similarly until they're not. It's condensed into, you know, eventually if you ask a girl out, she has to say yes or no. And you, uh, I mean, she could say like, maybe you're trying to avoid, but okay, then three options. Uh, she has to say something. And those some things are condensed into very few options, but they condense from a very rich relationship of thousands of accumulated decisions. And this system all is built to try and support that. So anyways, that's what it's all about. When you get, you know, an hour into playing this game, uh, when the story gets to be that long and a character likes you or doesn't like you, you know that it's really unique to you, all those decisions combined. All right, have a good one.